CNN embarrassed themselves at the Democratic debate the other night. Here's a question for Bernie from uh, Blitz Wolfer, and it, this speaks for itself. I'm going to mock it when we come back. Senator Sanders, uh, in the wake of the Iran crisis, Iran's Ayatollah Khamenei has again called for all U.S. troops to be pulled out of the Middle East, something you've called for as well. Yet when American troops last left Iraq, ISIS emerged and spread terror across the Middle East and indeed around the world. How would you prevent that from happening again? Now, of course, he goes on to give a good answer, typical Bernie answer, makes perfect sense, but man, oh man, that question. First of all, let's take a minute to digest how he said the Ayatollah's name. Uh, Mr. Sanders, you and the Ayatollah Khamenei. <laughs> Come on, Wolf, reel it in, pal. What are you doing, buddy? Pump your brakes a little bit. Wow, that was weird. Um, but the question is, Hey, Bernie, you know who else agrees with getting troops out of the Middle East? The Grand Ayatollah, the Supreme Leader in Iran. Why do you agree with the Supreme Leader in Iran, Bernie? That's the question? That's the way you're going to frame it? I mean, that is so close to, you know, in World War II, Hitler wanted us to withdraw. Why do you agree with Hitler? Oh, come on, man, with the hacky nonsense. This is so hacky. All this is so hacky. I hate it so much. I mean... Look at the framing. You could He could have gone with, you know, the most quoted intellectual still living, Noam Chomsky, wants to get our troops out of the Middle East. Why do you want to get our troops out of the Middle East? <laughs> Why is that obviously the correct policy? <laughs> like, that's how you could have framed it. No, he went with, the Grand Ayatollah and you agree. Please, defend your record in agreement with one of the worst people on the planet. <laughs> that's the implication. That's what they're trying to say. And then the other thing is, well, when we pulled out last time, it led to the it led to ISIS. So why are you okay with ISIS reemerging? How would you stop that from happening? See the framing, guys. The the trick is not in the question; it's in the framing, because the framing leaves you. It implies what you're supposed to believe without actually making a case for believing in that position. So it tries to paint the pro-war position as obviously correct, and the anti-war position as stupid and naive and in agreement with our enemies. That's what he's doing there. I mean, this is this is Bush League stuff here, man. It really is. So, uh, to the ISIS point, yeah, you know how we could have avoided Al-Qaeda being in Iraq and ISIS being there as well? If we never went in in the first place. That was one of the things that became apparent during the Bush years, is that, guys, Al-Qaeda only went to Iraq after we invaded. They weren't there originally. They went in there after we invaded. So... The anti-war people correctly pointed out, like, if if we just didn't go in, this this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's right. And it also turns out that Saddam Hussein, as vicious and terrible as he was, he also was an enemy of jihadists. Because jihadists, he thought, threatened his power. So he would go after them as well. A similar dynamic, again, to what we see in Syria, Bashar Assad. You could say terrible dictator, but you know who he's, he's going after? ISIS and al-Qaeda and jihadists. So, I'm, again, the framing is everything here, and the framing is so gross, and it tries to imply what you're supposed to believe up front. You could have framed the question, hey, we've been in the Middle East for nearly two decades, we've wasted over $7 trillion, thousands of Americans' lives, and hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians, why the hell are we still there? But no, the argument is, oh, why do you agree with the Ayatollah, and why are you cool with the reemergence of ISIS if we pull out? It really is gross. The solution was never going in in the first place. That's what led to the rise of ISIS. That's what led to the rise of Al-Qaeda in the region. Now you can't blame us pulling out. Because then here, what's the logical implication of what Wolf Blitzer is saying? Don't leave. That's the logical implication. Well, if you want to make sure ISIS doesn't reemerge, obviously, don't leave ever. Is that the correct position to take? I'd say no, <laughs> especially when we don't have clean water in Flint, Michigan, and when our infrastructure gets a grade of D plus, and you're talking about, you know, staying in Afghanistan, Kabul, Kandahar, uh, staying in Iraq. Are you kidding me? No, people do not want that, and the polls show that, but they don't care. Notice there's no concern about what the public wants in a democracy. He's just asking, why do you agree with the Ayatollah? Why are you pro-ISIS returning? Dirty, gross, slimy, underhanded, terrible framing. And this is further evidence that they were—they know Bernie Sanders is up in the polls right now, and they're trying to shove a knife in his back and twist. 
That's what they're in the process of doing, and that's why all the questions were framed in an anti-Bernie, anti-left-wing way.